Good morning to you, welcome. And uh, hot off the press, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update as to the SSE situation that's ongoing. Some of you will know, and some of you will be going, <laughs> can't wait for him to go to prison, which isn't going to happen because it's a civil case and it could never go to, to uh, that situation. It would always be financial. Um, at the moment, we've got this current position, which is, last year, SSC wrote to me and said, the prices are going up. If you're not happy, then feel free to cancel your account and go somewhere else. So I did. In September, I gave them 30 days notice. Uh, all I got was bombarded by emails from them. Pay the bill, pay the bill, pay the bill. Uh, in actual fact, it was considered to be harassment, the way that they were behaving. So, after the 30-day notice, I uh, had to send them a cease and desist notice. This is directly to the CEO, Alistair Phillips Davis. All very simple to do. It always has to be personal against the person. You cannot write to a, a company. SSE is a PLC, so therefore it's not it's not um, you can't fight a PLC, but you can fight a person, and the person is the CEO. He is ultimately responsible for everything that goes on, and financially too. So he got this cease and desist, which they promptly ignored. So he got another one, and this time he got an invoice for uh, one and a half thousand pounds for three hours work. £480 an hour. Uh, basically, this is my charges. Uh, and I'm allowed to charge this because it's my time. I can make up any figure I like. Uh, bear in mind that this goes to the county court. So they like to have a reasonable amount. So if you're excessive, if you said like a million pounds, then they probably wouldn't agree with you. But 480 is under the sort of prescribed maximum of 500 480 pounds an hour and generally as a general rule they tend to agree with whoever's putting in the uh, claim that's from my understanding i haven't got there yet because the whole thing is when you present an invoice you then have to send them three reminders you haven't paid three times so this is what we're on now we're on the third time and then, as politeness goes, you send them a fourth one to say, you have, you've ignored my last three, you have one week, and then we're going to go to court. And if you don't pay, we're going to go to county court, and you will get uh, the judgment against you. Uh, generally, that's what happens. Providing you can pr prove that you've done everything correctly, according to the law, according to the steps, um, obviously, this whole situation is not for everybody, and of course SSC are a bully, and they harass people, the same as anybody else, same as um, British Gas and, and uh, Bulb, and uh, what's the other one, the other, oh, whatever, Utility Warehouse, they, they're all bullies, because they are basically, they are billing agents, they're not supplying you with anything, and I've said this many times. They do not supply you with anything except a bill. And these bills are made up. They are fraudulent. And if you have the balls to stand up and be counted, then you can do what I did, which is stop paying. The electric itself is free. It's been paid for by the taxpayer already. These Billing agents are fraudulent crooks. Trust me. And just to reiterate, it's a civil matter. You, it's not criminal. You cannot go to prison for not payment of anything. And I don't owe them any money because what happened was, even though they deliberately 
gave me all my money back that they, that they had. And in actual fact, I had nearly £700 in the kitty, which paid for my trip in October. Um, they gave me that money back and then claimed that I owed them a little bit of it. But that was deliberate. Obviously, that was, you know, if you understand the way that they work, that was deliberate. So they paid me back the money and then they said I owed money. This is just to keep in control that they got you under their thumb and that you are liable to them. Remember, you are a cash cow. You are giving them money for nothing and it's costing you, you obviously, if you're hard up, it's costing you money that you could be spending on food, for example. Right? So you have to have the balls, you have to have the, um, the notion to, to be able to not be bullied. And I will not be bullied by this company because I'll tell you what I've done now in a moment. However, what has triggered this response is Monday morning. So what they've been doing over the last, what, October, October, November, December, January, so three or four, four months or so, I've been getting letters through the door and these are addressed to the occupier, right? There is nobody here called the occupier, so you return to sender, stick a label on it, so put it back in the post. Obviously, that will go back and they will see it and they think, oh, OK, well, we'll send another one. And they've been doing that. And this month we've had two so far. It's very, very annoying, but the occupier doesn't live here. And to be perfectly blunt with you, SSE know who live here. They know because they've written to me. They've written to my name. And it's a case of, oh, we're really sorry. We've done really badly. Oh, yes. Oh, well, how can we make it up? We well, can stop contacting me for starters. <laughs> right? And I've had three of those letters so far. Uh, so I have paid the final bill. And the final bill was £66. Unfortunately, they had previously given me back the £66. So then they demanded it. Right? So that's fair enough. I paid the money that I owed. So that the account should be cancelled. I have no contract with SSE. And as you know, no contract with anybody means that my electric is free. <laughs> All right, I don't like using the word free because we are paying for it anyway. The, the country itself and your taxes are paying for it. So money, any money that I pay in my business, like tax to the HMRC, things like that, goes towards the running of the country. So it's not not actually, technically, it's not totally free. All right? So don't get the idea that it's for nothing, you know, it is that literally free. It's not totally free. All right? So there is a difference. Everybody's been scammed into believing that you have to pay again for it. And these billing agents are how they do it. It is a money-making fraudulent scam. Trust me, I've done research on it. And I can still hear the people in the background going, Oh, you're going to get cut off. Oh, they're going to come and cut you off. How can they cut you off? They can't cut you off, for starters, because there are certain criteria, certain areas of society, that even if they wanted to, they couldn't cut off. One of those is elderly. I think I qualify for that, being 60, 62 this year. Uh, two, disabled. Uh, I think I definitely qualify for that. So even if they wanted to cut me off, legally, they cannot. And uh, certainly it would be newsworthy. It would be a newsworthy story if they tried. And certainly there is a story in, in the current news at the moment of uh, the British gas compounding the issues with elderly people by forcibly breaking in, which again, they cannot do. And uh, certainly, as you've cancelled the contract, they have no claim over your property. They just will not let go. 
because of your cash cow status. Why would they let you go? You're paying £200 a month to them for nothing. If somebody was paying me £200 a month, I wouldn't want them to go either. I would do everything in my power to keep them paying because that's what I need. I need money, right? So that's what they're doing. They're, they're using you as a cash cow. So let's come on to the idea that we've had these, uh, the occupier letters which have gone back. And I would say that I probably, they started during the period of the cancellation notice. So the 30 day period where I sent three letters notifying them and giving them meter readings. So they've had their meter readings. They did not bother, and that's their problem, not mine. They did not come out to check. That's their issue. The contract now is cancelled. They have no rights. Basically, I could be with somebody else. Obviously, I'm not, but I could be. And they obviously have this system that they know by the serial numbers. They can do a search on the serial numbers of the meters in a database and it tells them who you're with. And it's a scam. All right? They're all working together. They're all working together in collusion to keep you hoodwinked and cash cow. Anyway, Monday, I was in the bathroom and I heard my cupboard door. I thought, ah, what's that? Opened the bathroom window and I saw a bloke there. And I'll show you the photo. This was my door cam that took the picture. He claimed to be from SSE to read my meter. <laughs> Yes, right, you know what I said. I said, I've got no contract, go away. He said, oh, really? I said, yes, it was deleted last year, or cancelled last year. I said, I own them nothing. You have no claim here, go away. And he said, oh, but I've got to give you this letter. I said, I don't want it, don't post it. What did he do? He posted it. Anyway, I picked it up. I thought, let's have a look and see if it's for me. It wasn't for me. It was the occupier, right? So it's an occupier letter. So that has gone back to the CEO, returns the sender with another invoice for another 900 quid. Two hours. Well, it wasn't one hour plus the document. So it's I charge per document as well. So when, if I have to deal with a document like that, then it's £480. I can make up my own numbers. If they want to come for an appointment, it's £5,000. And like, like I say, you can put any, any amount there you like. I would say if you're going to go to court, then you have to be fairly uh, aware that you have to be seen to be reasonable. But I have so much evidence, it's unbelievable. All of the emails I've had from them, demanding money, I've had the final bill, um, and then a, another one saying you haven't paid it, uh, threatening me with court action, and I have paid it, I paid it that day um, by Bax, and I have evidence of that. So that £66 that they gave me, they had that back, and it was all done until Monday, and this guy rocks up at my door, 9am. It took me by surprise to be started with and I thought, ah, what's going on here? And uh, I made a few cock-ups. I forgot to turn my door cam video to, to record it. So I forgot to do that. And of course I forgot to get my handheld camera or my phone to record him. So I don't I can't record, can't uh, prove what conversation we had which is sad, really, because that would go to court, uh, and I would win. And um, I pointed out to him the notice on my door, which says, no trespassing, no access, private property, um, implied res implied rights of access re refused. And um, on my door, it says, no doorstep traders. Okay, so that's, and on my letterbox, it says, no junk mail 
or circulars or anything not addressed to the occupant. So the occupier letters are actually illegal. They're being put through my door and I don't want them. And they should not be there, but they are. Okay, so that's the situation so far. And some people will be going, God, that's a lot of work. It's not really. And why would I let this company bully me and harass me? Yeah? So what I've done now, and you're, you're going to love this. It's absolutely marvellous. I've gone to the it's an ombudsman service for complaints to about energy companies. And basically, you provide all of the evidence and then they make a decision on it. I'm fairly confident with everything that I put on there on the actual uh, complaint. I'll show you the actual um, screen. So here is the screen, the complaint. It's quite detailed. I put in there all of the details about the documents I've had, the uh, all of the bills, all of the emails I've had, some details about letters I've had. Um, the, oh, we're sorry. We're, we're terribly sorry. I've had three of those. I mean, I had two. One after the other. 29th and 30th of November. And, um, you know, I put in there all about that. And, and then I've offered, I've put in there about the man. This is the biggest uh, complaint because this is actually quite serious now. I put in there some of the some of the things I think that he is or they are um, breaking the laws that they are breaking. These are fairly serious, and um, if they don't do anything about it, then I can take this to to the police as well. Right, so that's it, and then of course I put in there what I want, which is basically remove my data and account. Stop sending these letters, stop visiting, and accept that I am not a customer, and move on. Stop harassing me. So there we go. So that's what I want, and um, hopefully this will not take too long. I believe that they have about seven to ten days. And I'm fairly confident that I will win this, and that they will stop. And if they don't, then I will go to the police, because it is harassment. And um, quite seriously, because being a, a sort of an elderly, vulnerable person with a disability, I tick quite a lot of boxes. <laughs> it's the only one time when you feel like you, you get a disability, you think, that's it, I'm, I'm quite useful to society. Cause, so I thought I'd update that. I'm still not paying and they still have no access, although I want to highlight the danger of this um, occupy a letter thing and I'll tell you what I think is going to happen or what they're going to try and do which is why I have done this complaint oh yeah by the way every complaint that you make through the ombudsman it costs the company 500 quid all right the company itself SSE they will pay 500 pounds every complaint so if they don't pay me and they don't stop I will be making more complaints. <laughs> I love it. I think it's really fun. I think I'm just having the best time of my life. Now, if they pay me the uh, invoices that I've paid, that I've sent them, I will get about two grand for that. All right, so it's about two grand. And I think that's going to come in handy for my next Thailand trip. Oh, it's wonderful. It really is very, very amusing. I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I know that some people out there will be going, pulling their hair out and going, oh, I don't, I don't know what you do. I, I think you're in trouble. I didn't think you're going to be in trouble. Remember, okay, mem remember my video re regarding fear. All right? All you're fearful of is the consequences. All right? The consequences, that's what you're fearing. So... If you don't under, if you don't accept the consequences, then what what is there to be fearful of? I'm not fearful of anything that this company does because I know in my mind that they are fraudulent. 
they are illegally charging for something that they don't actually own. They don't own it. They don't supply it. They don't make it. Finally, this is the, the danger of um, letting it go further. So this, this is hopefully going to stop it. But the danger is that when they do this Occupy a Letter thing, they're, they're trying to make a contract with the property, right? So probably somewhere in that, in that um, eight letters is a bill, an estimated bill. And what they will do is they will come back to you and say, oh, Mr. Occupier, you haven't paid the bill. So we're going to try and take you to court. Or they're going to try and take, go to court and put a, another meter in. Which, by the way, they're not their meters. It's my meters. I've had my meters fitted by a proper electrician. And that legally is allowed. Contrary to what they will tell you. They will tell you, no, no, you can get into trouble for that. No, no, you can't. You are allowed to have your own meters fitted. What you cannot do is have no meter at all. That is illegal. You will get done for theft. That is a criminal offence of theft. So as long as you have a meter properly installed, then that's it, really. Because I'm waiting for the day when they, if they don't, um, if they don't justify this complaint and they don't stop coming and they do turn up and they insist on seeing the meter when they open the door they're going to have a bit of a shock because I would say well I did warn you it's not your meter <laughs> it's going to be extremely amusing I, I, and they say well if you want your meter back it's in my, in my house I'll go and get it for you but these are mine and there is nothing you can do about it and if I do sound a little bit cocky it's true because the system is not going to help you the system is there to rip you off and to make you a cash cow okay I am not going to be bullied I am not paying for something that they don't supply and I am not going to be ripped off right so this is it now what will happen is that if they do escalate the first step will be another letter to the occupier but unfortunately any more letters coming now to the occupier will go back to the CEO, CEO with another invoice for £900 because it will be one document and one hour. So every time they do it, they'll get another invoice and slowly but surely, by that time, uh, the, the court date will be come through and the first invoice I sent out for one and a half thousand, it was actually £1,440, uh, I think, um, three hours work, and it was literally three hours uh, that will go to court and they will know that I am being serious about this was it cost to go to court well I believe it's 40 quid which you can charge for that so you can actually add that on at the end so what's the likelihood of me winning it's quite high because I have a lot of evidence and I have given them many warnings and I have done the whole process uh, three times. So you do everything three times. And in actual fact, I have given them extra time to pay. I'm very reasonable. I'm being honourable. As long as you are acting in honour, honest and not lying, then you have every right so there we go and if you're inspired now if you are inspired to have a go and I'm, I'm going to be brutally honest it's not easy 
all right it's not to, uh, not gonna be a, a walk in the park and it's not gonna be as easy as I first thought because it is escalating and uh, hopefully this ombudsman thing is gonna nip it in the bud and then if it doesn't then the police will because this is obviously there are, is evidence of criminal activity and they are li they are liable to act on that and I do realize that there will be people saying well you know what happens with the um the whole uh jabby jabby thing and um legal action there um, this is totally different this is personal me against some some company that's bullying me and they are breaking the law the police have a duty of care and guess what guys and gals guess what if the police do not act I will complain about them to the to their ombudsman and they do have a proper um, complaint system because I have used it before and it works so if they're not going to do anything then they're going to have a complaint as well so it's a win-win I think anyway I've, I've spoken for 29 minutes and we'll call it a day if you have any questions or you want to contact me you know where I am that's it from me have a very good day